Hi, I'm JR Bonfoy, System Engineer at Samtech. Today, we are going to look at a live demonstration showing how Samtech flyover twin-x cable assemblies allow designers to extend signal reach and density, enabling 112 gigabit per second PAM4 performance. For this demonstration, we are using AlphaWave's AlphaCore 100 Long Reach 30s combined with Samtech's Midborn to Cable Backplane application. AlphaWave 30s transmitter generates 31-bit PRBS data at 112 gigabit per second PAM4. These signals travel through about one inch of differential trace on iTerra MT40 PCB material to a Samtech bullseye high-performance test cable system located opposite the chip on the back of the board. The Samtech BE70A is rated at 70 gigahertz. The system shown here includes six inches of low loss microwave cable terminated to 1.85 millimeter connectors. These 1.85 millimeter precision RF connectors are mounted on a Samtech SI evaluation board. The signals travel through another two inch of PCB trace to a Novare high density board connector. Plugged into that connector is a Novare to Eximax flyover cable system. This incorporates 12 inches of 34 gauge high speed ultra low skew twin X cable. A one meter long cable connects one Eximax backplane socket to another. And at this point, the return path repeats itself. The signals go through another 12 inch long Eximax to Novare cable system to the second Novare SI evaluation board, then through 1.85 millimeter precision RF connectors on that board, and back to the Alpha Wave test board via the Bullseye BE78 test point system. The signal finally returns to the Surdis receiver, where the data is collected and checked for errors. And uh, let's take a look at the results, which are pretty remarkable. Using Alpha Wave's user interface and analysis tools, we capture the PAM4i diagram at the receiver after equalization. We can clearly see wide margins for all three levels of the PAM4 signaling. The tool also plots a histogram of the symbol probability density, which shows four distinct distributions with very low ISI. Finally, the vertical bathtub curves show the expected bitter rate of this channel at around 1e-8 for each of the three eyes, and that's prefect. This is a long and complex signal path representing a rack-to-rack -rack type of connection. This demonstration has eight different connector interfaces and runs approximately two and a half meters. But the total loss for the entire signal path, including all the cables assemblies and the PCBs, is approximately 30 dB. And the performance is well within specifications by several order of magnitudes, providing the designer with plenty of margin. If you have any questions about this demo, please email us at sig at samtech.com.